Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Worldwide, there has been quite a bit of progress made researching and developing CBDCs. Even though we don't really hear about this in the news at all, as if it doesn't even exist, don't let that fool you. There's been a lot of progress made last year, and judging from what I'm about to share with you today in this video, a lot is planned for this year. The Atlantic Council is telling us, quote, the momentum behind CBDCs has remained strong in the second half of 2023. Right now, 130 countries are exploring a CBDC, and that number represents 98% of global GDP. A new record high of 64 countries are now in the advanced phases of exploration. These so-called advanced phases are, and you're not going to like this at all, they're either ready to launch their CBDCs or they're just about to pilot a version. If you have been a subscriber here, you're likely not too surprised because not too long ago I shared that the European Central Bank had announced that it was ready to enter what they refer to as the preparation phase. And that phase will allow them to agree on the foundations that are needed for a digital euro. In addition to that, a major Chinese oil and gas company, PetroChina, has already completed their first international crude oil trade using the digital yuan. This particular case is a little different because PetroChina is using a wholesale CBDC, not its retail version. Wholesale CBDC is designed for large commercial transactions or settlements between two states, for example. The most significant progress towards a CBDC has been made in Europe, and that is not a surprise. There is an entire video here on my channel with further details and the timeline on the digital euro. You will find that video linked below if you're interested. The head of the European Central Bank said that the digital euro is designed as a form of cash. That is the exact word that she used. She said it's just a form of cash, so you don't really need to worry about anything, she said. And she also added that the digital euro will provide instant settlements and it will offer a high level of privacy and security. Of course, nobody truly knows what that means in the context of a CBDC, which completely excludes the concept itself, excludes privacy by definition. Europe is currently working on creating incentives for banks and other payment processors to distribute digital euro and to ensure that it is widely accepted in the eurozone. So in my opinion, this likely means that banks will only accept the digital euro for essential services or for certain type of services. For example, um, as has been mentioned before, they may start social and government payments first, so they will offer a CBDC to those who cannot refuse it. The European Central Bank isn't the only bank that is making significant progress towards a CBDC. Let's take a look at other countries. In Argentina, as of just a little over a month ago, the Central Bank of Argentina reported that it was working on the legal framework for the CBDC project in pesos. So not in dollars, as Javier Millet might prefer, but in pesos. Argentina is considering introducing a CBDC to help address its economic issues and its inflation. It is not clear at this time what President Millet will do or might do and what his stance is on this, but um, he's probably not going to oppose it. Now, Australia. In Australia, the Reserve Bank of Australia, in partnership with MasterCard, were involved in a CBDC blockchain pilot program, which they concluded successfully, reportedly, in 2023. But even though the pilot was successfully concluded, they don't really seem to be in a rush to launch an actual CBDC. As of November of last year, the central bank suggested that the development of a full-scale CBDC was still a few years away. Brazil is working on a first phase launch of the digital real. At this time, it is scheduled for May of this year. 
Let's talk about China. China is ahead of the game here. We all know that. As I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, one of its top oil and gas companies has already started using a CBDC. It was used for international crude oil settlement using the digital yuan. This was a large purchase, by the way, of 1 million barrels of crude oil, and it was settled through the Shanghai Petroleum and Natural Gas Exchange. In China, they have rolled out a limited scope or a pilot of retail CBDC as well. Moving on, in India, the Reserve Bank of India has launched a pilot phase where they planned to complete 1 million daily transactions by the end of 2023. I haven't really seen any reports whether or not they were able to achieve that goal, um, but it does sound very ambitious and the work towards the digital rupee is likely going full steam. So I definitely look forward to seeing updated reports. In Japan, things aren't quite as quick. The Bank of Japan is developing a retail version of a CBDC, so the one that would be used by average consumers. And it is partnering with 60 companies for the pilot program of a digital yen. Unlike Japan, the Philippines decided to start with a wholesale CBDC first. So they're already piloting their first digital peso for large foreign currency transfers. Russia is moving along a similar path. The Russian parliament approved a digital ruble bill back in mid of 2023, and a pilot program has been launched as well. South Korea is actively working on a CBDC too. The country decided not to waste any time at all, and they went ahead and developed both wholesale and retail versions simultaneously. The Bank of Korea, along with the government organizations with government financial services entities, are testing wholesale CBDC right now, and they're planning to focus on a retail CBDC testing later this year, towards the end of uh, 2024. In Europe, individual countries can work to develop their own central bank digital currencies too, in addition to the digital euro that would be sort of that umbrella digital currency in the eurozone. But one of the first European countries to make quite significant progress is Switzerland. The Swiss central bank has partnered with six commercial banks in the country to launch the pilot of the digital Swiss franc. It is a wholesale version at this point in time. At this time, they're testing the pilot and the test is expected to be completed sometime in June of this year. So as you can see, even though we don't really hear about any of this, it is quite shocking that this doesn't make news, even though, as we know, this is 100% life changing. As you can see, very significant progress has already been made and a lot is planned for this year. Pilot programs are being launched and wholesale and retail CBDCs are being developed. If you're wondering what's going on in the United States, I will make a separate video with more details. There's been some developments too. Several bills were introduced to ban CBDCs. The latest bill was introduced just a little over a month ago. But more on that in my next video as I do want to keep this one relatively short. Do me a favor and make sure that you follow me on YouTube and Rumble. My social links are in the video description below. Let me know in the comments if you believe a CBDC will become a reality, and if so, when? What is your prediction? I know many people feel that there's nothing to worry about, it won't happen, but the majority, of course, is very concerned, and rightfully so. Thank you for joining me. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. Consider sharing it with your friends and family, with your network, and subscribe. I would love to have you back for my next one tomorrow. I appreciate all of your support and your comments, and I will see you in a new one tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.